Hi, my name is Bailey Rasavi, and I'm 20 years old. Growing up, my family was faith-filled home, and uh, we went to church together as a family. We went to Catholic church, and I went to Catholic school as well. So we would go to mass on Sundays, and I would participate, and then I was baptized as a baby, and in grade two, Around grade two, I had my first communion and confirmation, which is in the Catholic Church, kind of a reaffirming of your, of your faith and your choice to follow Jesus. And so that was a really powerful experience for me. Having that faith environment to go to with my family was really, really important to me. I would say that it's pretty much the foundation for everything that I believe now. I've had a few of these key moments throughout my life where I was like, oh, that's a, that's a God thing right there. Oh, I'm feeling really close to God right here. So I wouldn't say that I had a definitive kind of, here's the one moment. I mean, I suppose that first confirmation experience was really pivotal for me. But I would also say that I've had ups and downs in my spiritual journey with God where I felt really close to Him or then I felt not as close to Him. Right now in my life, I see myself as somebody that still doesn't have everything figured out. I feel like throughout my entire life, I've been on this journey of wanting to know more things, wanting to know more about things, and ultimately, to grow as a person. Things aren't always peachy keen. <laughs> Things aren't always perfect. I've got ups and downs in my life. I've got moments where I feel like I'm walking in a desert and it's dry and I don't feel like I'm growing at all and I feel far away from God. But even in amidst those times, they are shaping me and growing me, even if it's just the smallest bit. All of those experiences that I'm having in my life are still shaping me continually, and they will for the rest of my life. So once you get past that, that barrier of feeling like you're not good enough to ask God for help, His help just abounds, washes over you. I think that I'm just on a continual journey of growing closer to God, knowing more about Him, and growing in relationship with Him. This whole idea of making a commitment as an adult and reaffirming what my parents um, had done for me when I was a baby, baptizing me as a baby, just reaffirming that choice that they made for me, it's it's continued to be impressed upon my heart to the point where I guess it's kind of like I boiled over and I reached the point where I'm like, okay, yes, let's do it. I want to be baptized because it's something that Jesus told us to do. And I want to make that, that commitment to giving my life to Jesus in a, in a way that is demonstrated by the man himself in the Bible. And I'm ready to take that step and to yeah, reaffirm what my, what my parents had done for me as a baby. It's taken only two weeks after doing this before, and uh, what an awesome thing that we have so many baptisms going on right now. I, I have the privilege of baptizing Bailey, and uh, you know, I've known Bailey for uh, just a little over five years. In fact, Bailey's first time coming to our youth group was my first time doing ministry here at Circle. And so we've kind of been on a journey for a while. And uh, the thing that I've, I've appreciated a lot about Bailey, but some of the things that I've really come to know and love is her care and compassion for other people. Uh, always wants to encourage others, and walk alongside others. She's eager to do it and, and, and always there to help. Uh, servant heart, her servant heart is just amazing. Uh, she's. Uh, wants to look for opportunities where she can walk along. So if you're sharing an idea or you're sharing a problem or something like that, she can hardly help herself from offering her services at some level. And that's gotten her involved in so many areas at Circle. She's been involved in children's ministry, and youth ministry, and young, young adults. And now actually she's on staff, which is awesome. Um, and so uh, the other the thing that has kind of impressed upon me and 
kind of stood out about Bailey is her deep thirst and hunger for knowledge and wisdom and understanding. And it's not just an understanding for the sake of understanding or trying to ask more questions so she can just have conversations with people. No, there's a deep hunger for this in, inside of her that she wants to actually grow from and develop it from. And as a result, I've seen tremendous growth in her in her five, in the five years that I've known her. And uh, uh, I just think she is uh, an amazing person that has tons of ability. She could do anything that her she set her mind to. And so it's an honor that she's on staff with us, and it's an honor that I have this privilege of baptizing her this morning. So, Bailey, why don't you come forward? So, Bailey, do you believe that Jesus died and rose again? Yes. And have you made Jesus your personal Lord and Savior? Yes. And based on your confession of faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you.